It's the NBA brought to you by 2K Sports on this very special Easter Sunday. Kevin Harlan here along with Anna. Greg Anthony and Steve Smith and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. In the two meetings last year, they came away with wins, never losing. And guys, these teams don't see each other too often, but last year, they would have liked to see a little bit more of them the way they were able to take care of their business. Kawhi Leonard with multiple finals MVPs, putting him in a legal company. GA, not many guys have done it ever. The only other current players, KD and LeBron. That should tell you just how special the claw is. Nobody near Leonard. The Clippers keep it alive. A shot by George, wide open. Off target from three-point range. And there's the foul. It'll go on Terrence Mann. That is his first foul of the game. First team. First quarter just over a minute played. Enters the league as a great defender. Now Leonard's an elite defender. Multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. Uh, how about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. Van Carroll with the ball. George picks him up. Isaac outside. Out left to the wing. No one near Fultz as he lets it go. Sinks the triple. Fultz has got five points so far. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? I caught up with Coach Jamal Mosley. This will be the first game this season against this team. He knows they're great rim protectors, but he doesn't want his guys to back down. He told them... Push the action. Stay confident. You may get one sent back. Don't let that deter you at all. So, Kevin, they're going to keep trying to be aggressive all game. 
Okay, David, thank you. We'll see if they can execute Greg well enough to beat the good defense. Yeah, and it's about identifying the right matchup. You almost always have an advantage somewhere on the floor. You can bet they've been doing a lot of scouting, really getting a chance to prepare for this game. This should be an interesting game of adjustments. From deep, George buries the long-range jumper. You need guys who can stretch the floor or the offense doesn't flow. Paul George is one of the best at it. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Magic shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. And so Fultz nails them both. And the Magic right now, missing that franchise player, might have one of their young talents develop into that, but currently they lack that stuff. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? And it's Wagner missing. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. And as we know, Greg, the NBA is a star-driven league. Hard to contend without a top-10 player on the roster. The Magic have been patient in their approach. And one player taking a leap this season would be huge. And there's already a loyalty aspect to Van Carroll's makeup, starting with the tribute to the city he grew up in. He literally takes Seattle everywhere he goes. You look at the tat on his right bicep, it has the Seattle skyline, Mount Rainier, the street he grew up on. In terms of his character, that indicates deep roots and a solid foundation he can build on. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hit. And they pick up two. The Clippers in the lead. Let's it go with a three. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Here's Fultz. And the rejection by Zubats. A three from Leonard. Orlando grabs the miss. Up top, Fultz. Nine points in the game so far. Into the lane. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And great attention to detail from Boncaro on the play. Making sure he's there to get the ball and send it back. It's tipped. And here's the fast break. It's rebounded by Leonard. Clippers leading by three. Right side, George. Pass to Zubats. Here's Leonard. Safety move. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Leonard's got 13 points. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period, and he continues to stay aggressive. Here's Wagner. Can't cash in from close range. And it's Jonathan Isaac with the foul. That's his first foul. So all teams changing it up here. Here's Highland. Sinks the three-pointer. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Takes it inside. And it's Suggs missing. And Westbrook, here we go. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. On offense, Westbrook can be fearless, going right into the defense and still hitting the shot. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot.
You also have to admire how they challenge the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. Here's Highland and the three off target. Here's Suggs. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Highland. Hands it from downtown. Highland's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Clippers. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. The free throw drops for Suggs. And you know, Jalen Suggs has had to deal with some huge expectations. But he's got a great attitude and always works hard to live up to them. Here's Highland. He has six. Pass to Morris. And Morris throws it down. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Get up, Jalen Suggs. This guy also a terrific football player in high school. The freak. The Magic. 22. Well, we hope you're enjoying your Easter as we are here, as we get underway once again. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. Smitty expectations have been so high for this Clippers team in recent seasons with the addition of Kawhi and the addition of Paul George and the other great parts around them. They've got a lot of terrific players, Kevin. On paper, they look playoff ready. So those expectations aren't so misplaced. And it's the Clippers with the ball after Jalen Suggs made that last three-pointer. Down low, Westbrook. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the game to go. Now, Suggs, nine points in the game so far. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. And thinking back to that 2017 MVP season for Russell Westbrook, Steve, you know, he averaged a triple-double. Kevin, what's incredible to me, Russ did it three straight years with OKC. Then again with the Wizards. Westbrook's numbers are out of this world. Plumlee, you know what? The Magic trailed by 11. Here's the drive. And Suggs throws it down. I love Suggs' feel for when to attack. A strong mix of dribble moves allows him to just blow by defenders. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. It's stolen by Carter. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thanks very much. Orlando has a very young roster. Coach Jamal Mosley says, one thing I've said to them is dominate the simple. The more we can keep it simple, the better we'll be. Not overthinking things, just playing off instincts and reactions. Kevin, back to you. The place to uh, start makes a lot of sense. David, thanks. Oh, no, he didn't. And what can you say about Suggs? A natural-born leader, very unselfish, and great vision. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here.
Steelers making a change here. There is so much young talent, Steve, in today's NBA. That being said, whose game should an up-and-coming player try to emulate? For me, Kevin, for the 25 and under crowd, the guys I love, Luka Doncic, unbelievable. John Morant, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, and it's a whole slew of others. The shot by Anthony, no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. So for the Magic, releases, tries again. Here's Plumley. Orlando grabs the miss. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. George from deep three-point land. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. Back to Plumley. Los Angeles calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Just five to shoot. Here's Leonard. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Leonard's got 16 points. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. FCGA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. And stolen by Bull. Van Carroll, that's good. And that's now nine points for Paolo Van Carroll. I really like the awareness from Fultz. It has an ability to know when one of his guys is wide open. Wide open look here for Zubac. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. And you know, the adjustments should have already... Oh, oh. yes. And, and Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. man looking at his point production he averages almost eight points a game pass to Zubats outside for George it's stolen by Van Carroll and there's the drive and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line Marcus Morris picks one up there an aggressive, creative player on the attack. I like seeing Boncaro get those whistles. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Mark. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown LA arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue. So that's going to change. <laughs> and that one drops for him. Great find by Leonard. When the offense runs through you time and time again, you have to become a good playmaker. Van Carroll, that's good. That's 12 points for Paolo Van Carroll. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Englewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. That'll be huge for the Clips. So they're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. And now the fast break. George with the ball. Here's Mann. Pass to Zubats. 
Moves back up. Pulls it up. And good. Had the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Zubats has got six here in this quarter. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back. End. And that one's good, Wagner. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Pass to Leonard. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Substitution for your players. Eric Gordon. Russell Westbrook. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Ben Carroll. It's hauled in by Zubat. Los Angeles shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Not a strong suit for this group. Just around 71%. And for Orlando, it's been a tough decade. We would agree on that. Greg, they've only won two playoff games since 2012. Well, they've only made the playoffs twice in that span. Got a lot of draft picks lined up in the next few years, and they need to make good on those high picks. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jalen Suggs. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Pass to Highland. From deep. A steal. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. With the drive, and it sucks with the rebound. To the middle. Here's Carter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This is the thing about Wendell Carter. He's got the skill to go with the size. Very difficult to defend. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Coming on to the court.
So he comes up empty at the one. With Wendell Carter Jr., you love the do-it-all ability, the understanding of the game. And the Clippers call time here. Here's Highland. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We come back right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Jacks up a three. That shot off. The Magic trailed by seven. Pass to Anthony. And he banks in the lane. Anthony's got the first basket of the second half. That one for Orlando. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Here's Highland. Outside, Batum. Pass to Highland. Fires for three. And he's good on the three ball. Highland's got 14. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Isaac. It's hauled in by Zubats. Los Angeles leading by eight. Kicks it out to Leonard. Fires from deep. And another three for the Clippers. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Here's Ben Carroll. Missed inside. Here's the Clippers. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Comfortable inside, plus the seven-foot-three wingspan. Hard to stop Kawhi without fouling. For decades, the Clippers were almost directionless. But they found their place in the NBA, becoming a franchise that competes in the West. And once you get the height advantage from there, no need to mess around. To the inside, here's Zubats. And the Clippers call time here. looking around shot clock at six and that one off the back of the rim and in Leonard's got the lead up to 12 now for the Clippers and the West you know is very difficult but Steve for the Clippers how much of their success is tied to their identity Kevin a lot of it they become a hard-nosed team hanging their head on defense playing together making opponents earn everything they get and Leonard stays with it. And the Clippers lead by 14. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Isaac drops in the layup for two. Isaac's got his first basket. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Man gets the bucket. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Platoon with the three. Come get it, come get it. Takes it out to Leonard. In the corner, George with it. Back to Leonard. And so they foul intentionally. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution for your Clippers. Here's Mann. Six points for him. Pass to Plumley. 
And again, it's the Clippers from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. From 15 feet away, Plumlee with the rebound. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. From downtown. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Mann driving to the basket. Hey, ducks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. First team. Substitution on the floor. Anthony with it. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. And his eyes got wide once he got the ball inside. You just know what he's going to do with the basketball. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found the temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and... It's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD. Uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They've been lights off from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. To the paint. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. And Orlando will get a change here. Houston. 132 left here in the third quarter. Out to Carter. From deep three-point range. And it's out of bounds. Yeah, they say it was last touch by Carter. We've got 123 left in the third quarter of the game. And the Magic have been one of the league's worst offenses in recent years. In fact, it's been over a decade since they've been average in that regard. Drafting a ready-made weapon in Paolo Boncaro, uh, they hope can help them take a step in the right direction. Master Covington. Back to Westbrook. Now here's Plumley. Nice move. And the Clippers call time here. And guys, talk about the production that Covington brings to the table. Gia, he's been with quite a few teams, but he's been a star to most of his career. His presence on the defensive end, getting to the rim and scoring it, has been a treat. Shot clock at five. The Clippers need to get off a shot. There's Gordon with the three. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And here is Suggs. 11 points in the game. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third. 
And how about Suggs' willingness to sacrifice? He, he takes the foul, but ensures the shot's able to get off. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. The numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. Here's Highland. 14 points for him. There's the three. Houston with the rebound. Here's Anthony. Oh, and he can't cap off the break. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. The Clippers on top. Running a... 15 seconds. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Going inside. And Covington sends it back. And the dunk by Covington. Showing some tenacity on that take. Robert Covington with the athleticism on that play. Outside Anthony. Pass to Suggs. Fires the three. And Westbrook pulls it down. And here's Los Angeles. Here he goes. Oh, and he jams it right over Wendell Carter. Wow. Got some flair on that one. Westbrook is vicious when attacking the rim. Pass to Highland. And we've seen not only some new trophies in Bruce, but Greg, some of the existing ones. Have you okay with that? Oh, I am. In particular, a nice touch to have the previous winners etched into the base of the Larry O'Brien trophy. That's a great way to connect with the history of the game. And they show effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Anthony can't hit. Can't fault the play call, even though he could convert. That's a good shot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jalen Suggs. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Substitution on the court. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. It's blocked. And that passive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Outside Westbrook. Lock at six. Pass to Plumley. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Chalk up two there. And how about the confidence level with which Fultz plays? When he's close to the basket, he keeps his eyes focused on the rim at all times. Isaac with the steal. High post shot. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. The kick out to Westbrook. And it's on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. Los Angeles with another miss. And so here's Orlando. Bancaro, that's good. 16 points for Paolo Bancaro. And this is what everyone wants to see. Bancaro is attacking without hesitation on the offensive end. Letting it all hang out when George takes flight. Just enjoy the show. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Isaac with the steal. And it's Ben Caro top the key. And no good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. 
Here's Mann. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Van Caro, that's good. Van Caro's got six here in this quarter. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Pass to man. Batum, the screen. Three pointers off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Fultz, no good. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. It's stolen by Fultz. And now Isaac running the floor all by himself. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. He'll be shooting two free throws. And they'll retain the position. For the Clippers organization, GA, what do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The, the Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the Finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy. Pass the bowl. Stolen by Zubox. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And you see Kawhi's hustle in transition, always putting himself in position to succeed. Here's Bancaro. And finished off by Bancaro. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they are not into this game, they have to get some stops. A three from Leonard. Hits it from three-point range. Leonard's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Here's Ben Carroll. When Bancaro gets in tight, that's how he likes to finish. No layups for this big guy. He's all about the finish. Pass to Zubats. Kicks it out to Leonard. Let's the three fly. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 16 to 7 run. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. And the Clippers get called for the foul. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Shooting for An elite prospect with very few holes in his game. Bancaro can score from all three levels, makes plays for others. Terrific rebounder. Man, the list goes on and on. Any scouts had Bancaro as the safest pick in the draft. Uh, would you agree? He and maybe Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, what separates Boncaro a little, these are the elite back to the basket score. Those guys have become increasingly harder to find. Los Angeles making a switch here. 122 left to play in the final quarter. Boncaro with the ball. And Batum picks him up defensively. Pass to Bull. Puts up a three. Good on the triple. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Clippers. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at C. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Kawhi Leonard. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. Offline with his three. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. Pass to Highland. For the three. Hits the three-point five. And the Clippers lead by 19. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's